She's Kelly Ayotte, and she's going to protect women's rights as a U.S. Senator using the same method she used as a New Hampshire Attorney General. She's going to employ the Shreveport method. Let me show you how it works. Now, New Hampshire didn't have a Wiley Willis, but it did have a Bruce McKay. Corporal Norman Bruce McKay, an officer so foul that the New Hampshire legislature voted down the Senate Bill 154, which would have given a roadway, uh, named a portion of a roadway after him. And the community said no, the legislature followed suit, but to Kelly Ayotte, he's a hero, despite the fact that his wife had moved out, filed a uh, restraining order against him, and moved into a safe home. As Casey Sherman notes in his uh, book and forthcoming screenplay for Bad Blood, Freedom and Death in the White Mountains, I had to sue in order to get this video right here. wonder why. See, we can't forget that the model was set years ago in New Hampshire with Dick Dow. Now, Dick Dow, he was an avid practitioner of the Shreveport method. Let's take a look at how he, you know, apparently got away with bloody murder. Uh, so, you know, under the AI administration, you'll have a right not to have your case reviewed, even though there's clearly evidence of a murder, and you have a right to a 24-hour cremation after your husband throws your sob turbo off a cliff. Haven't heard enough yet? Let's talk about that penis-shaped knife that Miss B told me Bruce McKay stuck toward her privates in the back of a squad car on a bogus DUI case uh, that got dismissed. He had no reason whatsoever for doing it. The seatbelt, he never tested it. It worked fine. And he just did it to terrorize her. She wrote a 13-page complaint that was ignored by the Attorney General's office and by the town of Franconia. And the AG's office even lied to me and said they didn't have it. Come to find out later on, they did have it. Had enough yet? No, I don't think you have. I think you're going to sit there and take some more. How about the case of uh, Fred Hoysret when he went and attacked Elizabeth Dynan at her place? You know, he was getting his captains on there, you know, trying to get his swerve on. And basically, you know, five charges were recommended against him, severe charges. But Kelly Ayotte and her crew just gave him a pass pretty much, let him out easy.
Uh, but don't go away just yet. Remember how Kelly Ayotte campaigned as a Mama Grizzly and all that stuff with Sarah Palin? Well, you know, what kind of a program does she have for America's youth? Well, let me tell you what. She's got a top-to-bottom program from preschool all the way up through young adulthood. And let me show you a little bit more about that. It involves unconstitutional DNA testing. And ignoring state and federal protocol on reporting incidents of abuse at daycare centers. Good thing for your children that global warming is no longer of a concern, though. <laughs> Apparently not, at least according to Kelly. And then, of course, as your child moves through high school, they can be subjected to the Shreveport Plan. And there, that would include indiscriminate use of OC spray, uh, while the underlying charge is dismissed, and innocent other children are sent to the hospital. Of course, if you're a mama grizzly that's worried about your child's reproductive activities uh, as they move into young adulthood, Kelly Ayotte will assume the position that she's trying to protect you uh, and your interest, but in reality, she's lost the case with an unconstitutional law, and then she's lied about it, and in fact, uh, cut $250,000 checks to Planned Parenthood for their attorney fees. And for the coup de grace, Kelly Ayotte, as a mama grizzly, will allow a rogue police officer like Bruce McKay to run amok in the community, chasing uh, alleged terrorists, and being subject to reprimand by his superiors like Sergeant Mark Taylor. Uh, she will allow this individual to terrorize your son, and then, when he is scared and shoots the cop, she will allow a multiple felon named Gregory Floyd to murder him, in my opinion, and get away with it in less than 24 hours. McKay pulled him over, ordered him into a, uh, a dirty little uh, parking lot, and as he does that, he pushes his car in um, several times violently, uh, jumps out of his car with a can of OC spray, pepper spray, uh, soaks Leeko Kenny and his passenger, Caleb McCauley. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this all out. Some people can see it more than, more than others. And I was just saying that you know, I saw the videotape, and you know, here's here's the cops pounding the shit out of Lico on the side of the road. And you got eight or ten cops, and he's saying, "Stop, stop, stop who cares? You know, she's Kelly Ayotte, and if she's our new U.S. senator, heaven help us.